Well, tonight we are hearing from Eric Jones, the then boyfriend of Faith Hedgepeth's roommate and an initial person of interest in Faith's killing. CBS 17's Imani Payne spoke with Jones today following that initial court appearance and Faith's accused killer. Imani, what did he have to say? I'm sure there's some relief for him. Yeah, he says just that he's relieved. Eric says he's not perfect, but that he's not a killer and that he's just glad to finally be clearing his name. The day Faith Hedgepeth was found beaten to death, left in a pool of blood near her bed, changed the lives of her family forever, but also changed the life of Eric Jones. I knew from the beginning that my DNA didn't match the, the, uh, the DNA that they had. And they continued to let it go on for nine years with me being dragged through the mud. Jones was dating Faith's roommate at the time of her death and was considered a top person of interest. Police searching through his car and home for evidence connecting him to the crime. Jones says the situation caused him to lose opportunities and friends. When you just want to call a friend, but you really can't because, like, every person you call, you have to explain this to. So, um, yeah, it just really just. Caused a lot of dark days where I um, that was spent alone, just really just trying to just get a hold of and just spent a lot of days just asking myself, like, how in the hell I'm in the, like, in the middle of this situation. Jones provided his DNA, but it didn't match the DNA found at the scene. Nine years later, police now say DNA from the scene matches Miguel Salguero Oliveres, who is now behind bars, charged with Faith's murder. Jones says he doesn't know the suspect, never saw him, and doesn't understand the note left behind at the crime scene. He says he would like an apology from the police department or a statement declaring his innocence, but feels it isn't likely, saying the suspect's arrest may just have to be enough. I've always wanted to grieve, but I feel like that was taken from me as well because I was, all, I mean, I was prime suspect number one from day one, so, um, yeah, cried a lot yesterday, um, but the healing, yeah, it's, it's definitely time to heal. And Eric wouldn't comment on if he plans to pursue any legal action. He says right now he's focused on raising his two-year-old son and trying to figure out how he plans to explain all of this to him one day. For now, we're live in Durham, Imani Payne, CBS 17 News. Essentially two lives destroyed. Uh, th throughout this and glad that he's able to share his story with us today. Yeah, and then not to mention all the family members on both sides.